time for more Argonaut Weekly here on GoArgos.com. Rob Walden along with the head men's soccer coach at UWF, Bill Elliott. And a huge victory for you guys on Saturday. 2-1 to one at home over number 7, Lynn. After playing four consecutive games against Sunshine State competition, not coming away with a victory, I know to, to get a victory over a top 10 team from the SSC, that's huge for your squad. No, it was a big, big event, a uh, big deal for us, and even bigger considering a lot of the external factors. Uh, we have so many injuries, and then we started, uh, I think, five freshmen in the game. Three, it was the first college game ever, and just when you when you roll it all up together, it was it was a really big night for our yeah. program. Yeah, talk about those lineup changes, and you mentioned it. Three guys playing their first ever collegiate game. You know, kind of late in the season for guys to be getting their debuts, but a lot of guys got their first significant action. What prompted? You mentioned injuries, but aside from that, what prompted those uh, the the kind of massive overhaul of the lineup, and did it uh, produce the kind of results that uh, that you were looking for? Well, um, injuries, of course, were a factor, and uh, poor form. I think some of the, our guys just haven't been at their best. And uh, so I kind of took the approach that, you know, if we're going to lose these games, let's do it with uh, young guys that are going to be around, that are going to get better. Sure. And uh, hoping also that it would create a little more competition and kind of light a fire under uh, the players. And uh, it seemed to have worked. I mean, we. Uh, went into the game with a nothing to lose kind of attitude and ended up getting the result. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, consistency with young guys is always a problem. Sure. Uh, typically. So, you know, this week we got three more games and those guys will be involved, whether as starters or off the bench. And, uh, We'll see what kind of consistency they can offer. You guys fell behind early 1-0. Then one of those new guys, mm -hmm. Nick Salafrio, scored the equalizer in the second half. And then with about 10 minutes to play, it was Andre Ferrari who netted the game winner. Falling behind one to nothing would have been easy for you guys to kind of fold the tents, but you, you didn't do that. Stayed resilient. And really, even when you were down a goal, outplayed a top 10 team. Yeah, well, we've been in tough battles this year. I mean, our te our schedule is tough. When the regional poll comes out this week, um, the three teams that have beaten us, Tampa, Rollins, and St. Leo, will be one, two, and three in the region. So we've played all the top teams in the region, sure. and uh, I think that gives us a little bit of an advantage. I mean, we've fallen behind the Rollins and come back twice in that game. Um, you know, fell behind to Florida Southern, came back. So we've been there before the season, and uh, we just always felt on top of the game. I mean, I, I felt their goal was against the run of play, and uh, so did our guys at halftime. That was the sentiment, and uh, we just didn't seem to have any doubt in the group that we could get the get the result. Now this game was notable for the roughly hour-long lightning delay that happened uh, about four minutes into the second half. Both teams went up to the locker room, had a long time to cool down, then had to come back out and play another 40 minutes of soccer. You got both of your goals in those final 40 minutes and it really seemed like your squad handled that delay much better than Lynn. They came out fresher and more focused. I don't know, I don't think we handled the delay necessarily better than Lynn. I mean I think the game after the lightning delay was very much like the game um, up until halftime. I think where we were fortunate was uh, the penalty kick in the first two minutes before right. the lightning delay. We, you know, our keepers come up with a huge save. Um, I think if Lynn scores there, that changes things dramatically. Um, so I think that was really more significant than the lightning delay itself. And that was Ramon Seeley, of course, making that save his first collegiate start. Uh, it did seem like uh, Lynn lost their composure a little bit in the final 20 minutes, and you guys had had a game earlier in the year against Rollins where it, it seemed like you know you lost your cool a little bit in the later stages, might have cost you a victory there. Do you feel like the guys matured and learned from that Rollins experience and kind of applied that to this game? Because really it seemed like the cooler heads in the final 10 minutes are, are what, are what might have won it for you guys. Well, I think, like I said, we've been in those tough battles already. Um, just the nature of things with our conference, we have to get all uh, those top sunshine schools, we have to, to get those games in early in the season, and, and they've yet to face off against each other. Right. So, you know, two weeks ago that was a big disadvantage for us, having to play those big games. But right. now it's kind of an advantage having already been, um, you know, battle-tested and, and whatnot. So... Um, yeah, I think it helped us.
you know. Um, but uh, it was uh, it was you know. It was a good match for us. Huge week coming up for you guys. Uh, William Carey on Tuesday, very good in AIA program. Then the conference slate opens up with road matches against Wachita and Harding. How do you carry over your momentum from the Lynn victory into a, a very big week? Well, it's going to be really difficult because uh, William Carey is one of the best teams in the country no matter what level. You know, Division I, Division II, NAI, undoubtedly they are one of the best college soccer teams in the country. So we got to play them on Tuesday, and that's a huge, huge mountain to climb. Then we go to uh, Wachita, who is fourth in the region right now. Um, I think they're six and two overall, four and one in the region. Uh, their place is always tough to play, and uh, they seem to be a team that's in really good form right now. Um, so you know, the tough part about that is we've got the William Carey game, we've got the Wachita game, which includes 12 hours on a bus to Arkansas. And then we're on to Harding on a Sunday. Sure. Um, so it is. <laughs> this is going to be a test of a different kind. Absolutely. For our for our players, and uh, it's going to be mentally and physically a very long week. And uh, we're a little bit thin right now with the injuries. So it's um, you know we're gonna we're gonna see what we're made of. We'll see if that retooled lineup can do some good work again. Gonna need to go deep in the lineup playing three games in one week. So a big victory for men's soccer, 2-1 to one over Lynn, and like we said, three big games this week, William Carey, Wachita Baptist, and Harding, and of course all the action can be followed right here at GoArcos.com.